the fuck they need to sell a trillion boats and die across the world for? There's plenty of niggas here. Or nah, wasn't no niggas here. You right. Wasn't no niggas here. It was them Indians. It was them quote unquote Pocahontas red tail niggas that you think was here. Because that's where your mind's at. Call us aboriginal, call us whatever. You even you, you you putting a small context on it because they want you to think that we're uncivilized. They want you to think that it was thousands of years ago. It wasn't that long ago. We are a recently conquered people. Don't buy their timelines. Understand what I'm saying? Don't buy their timelines. I know you mad. Hurt your heart, right? Hurt your heart. You've been riding hard for Africa. But now what you doing? You're scouring. You're reading. With purpose. For the first time in your fucking life. What are you reading? Whose words are you reading? Whose history? Because what happens to people when they get conquered, the history gets conquered as well. No remnants of the past. We was here first. What you don't think when they got here? We was lit, nigga. We had all the pyramids, nigga. All the pyramids, all the obelisks, nigga. We was Greece, we was Egypt, we was all that shit on the same land. We was lit, but we was also pagan. Why the fuck you think we still here paying for our past shit? Cause we on that fuck shit. We still think we from Africa. We still worship false idols. It's not that hard to figure out. The transatlantic slave trade is a story known to many, but what most people don't know is that much of the information received about the transatlantic slave trade is actually false. In fact, most slave ships transported from Africa went to South America, and less than 5% of all African slaves went to North America. The Indies or the Caribbean islands were a major hub of human trafficking. Most slaves taken from the land known as United States were shipped to Europe and some to the west coast of Africa. The shipping vessels of course were controlled by Jews from Portugal and Spain who ran ships up and down the west coast of Africa. Some of these ships would even bribe local tribes with guns and glitter for the hopes that they would sell their people into slavery. Most Africans resisted, but after planting the seeds of deception between tribes, it would only be a matter of time until these Africans started becoming manipulated by the Spaniards. Reports became more evident that the Roman Spaniard crypto Jews were controlling most of the shipping vessels along the coast after trading cheap European textiles and rum for commodities such as ivory, animal pelts, and gold. In many cases, these ships would pose as coastal transportation ships and they would deceptively kidnap unknowing Africans who thought they were visiting family up the coast. These Africans would then be taken to be brutalized, branded, bonded, and shipped. The Spanish brought more than just African slaves to the New World, they also brought pigs, syphilis, and smallpox. The proposed numbers associated with the amount of Africans brought to the Americas has ranged from as little as 10 million to as much as 100 million. Although it is understood without reconciliation that Africans were taken as slaves to the Americas, the sheer magnitude of that actual number of souls captured and transported is a reach even for the most imaginative historians. During the peak of the slave trade, around 300 slave ships were in regular operation on voyages from Africa to the Americas. These treks would last a span of five to six months, which means that one vessel could successfully bring a maximum of 600 slaves within a given year. So at most, 18,000 slaves could have been brought from Africa per year. Over a decade, that's 180,000. 
over a century, that's 1.8 million. And that's if no one died en route. Yet history tells us that most slaves died en route. So where did the millions of black people in America come from? They were already here, the lost tribes of Israel. This is common knowledge amongst all academic elite across the world. The copper to dark skinned people have always been here long before the Europeans knew this land existed. sucks niggas but please go find your favorite egyptologist your favorite african scholar please go find them and have them regurgitate more lies been told to you by the white man that you claim that you hate so much but now you scour his entire web of perverted information all to try to lay claim to a land on the other side of the world that you don't have no part of all while denying your ancestors and the spirit in your face listen all of that beautiful African history that you were taught doesn't cease to exist, but you ain't part of it. And if these words hurt your heart, good. Nigga, we having a back to Africa sound. You can take all that bullshit back to Africa. Because that's not where we from. I got a question. Of the 5% of African slaves that actually made it to the Americas, of the 5% of slaves that made it to the Americas, what port city did they go through? Here's a clue. What port city? And what were they traded for? What port city? And what were they traded for? Now go read every fucking book imaginable go read every brother's book go read every white man's book and i promise you the answer's not in there newport rhode island and they were traded for tobacco smoke on that truth fuck what you heard bitch watch babylon burn want to be with the white man. That's what the white man talk about. The white man. The white man talk about what a white man says. You're African. Nah, you shoot on nigga. I'm African. I feel like you remember like when you used to uh when you had the homeboy who was in the slow class that used to peek in the window and shit. Hey, what y'all doing here? Eating glue? You my homeboy. Man, y'all always playing games in this class. And I don't give a fuck that you be on the Africa shit. Because one day you'll understand, even if you don't now, because deep down inside you're not a fucking asshole. Where you from, bro? Where you from? Where you from, nigga? Every day, it's okay, cause you mean who's got your back. You be news got you by You be news got you by Oh, oh, oh. Lies to you every day